It's week two of the National Football League, and we'll be watching the Desperados, leader at quarterback. You can't ask for much more than his last game, a five-touchdown effort. It's the Desperados and the Chargers, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the Alamo City of San Antonio, Texas. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here. As it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Desperados of San Antonio. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this San Antonio team as they interplay. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they come into this one after a loss in the opener. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll set up the screen for Spears. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, what an exciting time here in this great city. Of course, it's no stranger to big time sports. They've had the NBA team here, but now a relocation franchise in the NFL. And these fans, they could not be more excited for what it's gonna mean for this city. It's just going to be a great source of civic pride here. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. Now the rookie third rounder from Tulane. It's Tajay Spears. And he'll get it out to the 33-yard line. And the numbers for Spears on the ground a week ago well into the triple digits, and they'll take that every time out. What I loved was just how decisive he was running the football. Coaches like guys that go north and south. They don't like the east-west guys, the juking and the jiving. One foot in the ground, and cut. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The Spears with another carry. And they'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That one's taken in by Spears. And he'll get up near the 45 spot at the 44. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Khalil Mack in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Here's Spears on second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll set up to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. Here's Ty Zender now. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Davis now to return it. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset.
So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. Buying time to his left. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. It's a 13-yard pickup as the downs reset. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared, because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop that. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid gain. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Touchdown! Chris Moore, his third touchdown now. Desperados use the early turnover to get on the board first here this way. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you... The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline and watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. They'll drop the throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 10 yards on that one, and that earns them a fresh set of downs. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a cover. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. They're going to look to throw. On the slant, Burks. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10 yard line. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball, and he lost the football. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. Now, I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball Ready? escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team. Fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Tyler Goodson 
his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And his guys have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Out of the gun to give the Spears. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Looking to throw. And he's caught. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards for number 11. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Hand off to Spears. And he's brought down. Just like last play. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have left blocks and abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Tajay Spears, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Desperados have taken a two touchdown lead now. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover, but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Yeah. Uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let a, you go. I took a shot. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Spears. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That's caught. Left side, it's Burks. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They'll look to throw here on first down. That'll be complete to a count throw. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And brought in downfield by Burks. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The folks kick is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Now Spears to begin the drive. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. 
And here's a quick throw to Hamler. The ball comes out. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. They go play action here on first down. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. And here's a give to Spears. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now the third down throw incomplete as well. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The folks kick is good and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with... So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to turn this time and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And running with power here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So that potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two-score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Right back to Spears. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It 
It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And on now is the punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Returnable here for Davis. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change yeah, the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. 62 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On play action, they'll throw. Throw left side, complete. That's more. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. A nice throw right there. And Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. This guy's getting the victory last week. And he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And now a run with Spears. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Third down and one. They'll run with Spears. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Tajay Spears, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Desperados are able to add on to that lead. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of trouble. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the yeah, ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in San Antonio. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards just short of the line to gain. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. 
And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 31-yard line. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Taken down, pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The offense on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and 19. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. Now back to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Here's a run by Spears. And he's going to get about four down inside the ten to the nine. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll look to throw here. And he's got it. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and one. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping a ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep him out of the end zone. Force the incompletion. Force him into going for three and not giving up six. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Eric Kendricks picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Folks, kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, Bleed the clock down with about 95% chance of winning. Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Yeah, the defense closes quickly there, and they'll get maybe a yard to the 33. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen for Spears. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. 
They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And we have... So this offense will head back out there already at excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Spears. Touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and... A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for San Antonio, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week.